Hello, we're going to do an instructional video on the oblique C-spine and we're going to do the AP obliques and the PA obliques and we're also going to do a dim or an instructional video on the cross table C-spine. Um, the first thing we're going to do is the obliques and we're going to start with the AP obliques. We're going to do these standing up against the wall bucky. Your SID will be at 72 inches. You're going to use a 10 by 12 cassette and the red line is going to go at the bottom. So we're going to put it in the bucky. You have to use the little lever again um, and you're going to put it right at the tin. Right at the 12. <laughs> okay and then I'm going to have my patient Mrs. Marshall here stand with her back up against there. Now it's going to be important when you're doing any um, projections for the C-spine that they remove jackets, zippers, her badge, earrings, necklace, um, collar, buttons on a collar, anything that's going to show up in the C-spine, um, either the front or the back, is going to need to be removed. Okay, now the other thing that's important, um, it'll be more important and I'll probably say it again when we do the um, cross table, but if the patient comes to you with a C-collar on, do not remove the C-collar unless you have instructions from the physician. You can hurt the patient much more by moving them around if they have a cervical spine injury. So make sure that if they come with a C-collar on, yes, it does make your job a little bit more difficult, but it can still be done. And it needs to be done with the collar on unless you have instructions to take it off. Okay, with that being said, we're gonna put a 15 degree angle, I'm trying not to blind you, on our tube. Make sure that you don't have your light on when you put the angle in the tube so you don't blind your patient. And then I'm gonna just line everything up. Now, what you're gonna do is shield your patient with a lap apron. Under all of them. Okay, so you're going to use a lap apron for this one. You don't want to use the full body apron because the part that goes over the shoulders will show up in your image. And obviously, you can use a thyroid shield. Got it. for these just like we do on the AP. It's going to be centered right at that Adam's apple which is approximately about C4. That's going to be for the AP and the PA oblites. You're going to center in the same spot. Makes it a little easier to remember. So you're going to turn your patient at about a 45 degree angle. Okay and then you're going to put your central ray right at the Adam's apple. patient has got her right side up against the eye or up against the bucky tray here so um, we're going to use the right marker because we're going to mark the side closest to the IR and I can collimate in I'm going to collimate in this way and I'm going to collimate this way I put my mark my right marker right here and then I'm going to just make sure everything is lined up and in good shape. I'm going to expose it at 85 kvp and I'm going to have my patient just hold her breath. Okay. The next one is exactly the same thing except we're just going to turn the patient the other way. We're going to get the left of the way. We're going to center in the exact same place. We're going to still turn the patient at a 45 degree angle. We're still going to center right on the Adam's apple or C4. I'm going to ask my patient too to lift her chin up just a little bit because we want to make sure that it's not in the way of our picture. And then I'm going to mark the left side because the left side is the one that's up against the IR. Sorry, 
taping your hair instead of the fire. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to expose this at 85 kVp with my patient holding her breath. Okay, so that is the AP oblikes. Um, for the P oblikes, we're just going to have the patient spin around. And whether or not you do AP oblikes or PA oblikes is going to depend on just your department protocol. You may do either one. Um, I'm going to turn the shield around so we protect the right area. Okay, and then she's going to get pretty close up there to the board. I'm going to change my angle. It's going to be 15 degrees cotted um, for the, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but the AP oblikes is 15 degrees cephalid and the PA is 15 degrees cotted. I'm going here and then I'm going to just turn my patient at a 45 degree angle. I'm going to have her step forward just a little bit and I'm going to just center still at the Adam's apple so you can just take your finger and kind of follow it all the way around. It's also going to be right about C4 if you need to use that instead. That's more helpful. And then you can call me in. Make sure the patient lifts their chin up and kind of pushes it out just a little bit. it a little bit when we're here doing lab, but in clinic you would do 15 degrees. Okay, and my patient's left side of is against the IR, so I'm going to put my left marker on my bucky. And everything is lined up. I'm going to still use 85 kVp for this, and my patient is going to hold her breath. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to have her roll this way. Okay. Still in the same centering point. I'm going to put my right marker on the IR since this is her right side. I'm going to move her a little bit so that I make sure I'm right in the middle. I'm going to have her lift her chin up just a little. Okay, and I'm going to expose it. I'm going to have her hold her breath, and then I'm going to expose it 85 kVp. Okay, so that is your AP and PA oblique C-spine. Um, now we're going to just adjust the camera a little bit so that we're able to get a cross-table C-spine. Um, it's going to be done with the patient laying supine on the table. So. I will show you that. I'm just going to move down here. Okay, now for this one, my patient's going to lay on the table with her head on the pillow, which I might take from her in just a second, but to make her comfortable, I'm going to let her have it. Now, for this one, we're going to use a grid. We do have a 10 by 12 grid. There's two of them, so there should be one for each room. We're going to slide our IR into the grid. There's a grid inside this wall bucky. Um, so when sometimes you're doing a tabletop exam, the image quality is going to be better if you use a grid. And so that's what we're going to do to get this picture. So we're going to take this IR, we're going to slide it right into the grid. and kind of show you a little bit better how it goes. You want the black side against the grid, so the orange side should be sticking out like this. Okay, then we're gonna use our IR holder. Okay, we're gonna put that 
right in the middle there, and then I'm going to bring it right over here. And I'm going to take a pillow. I'm going to move your hair to the kitchen. Okay. So you have to slide. You have to slide the IR right next to the patient. Now, of course, their shoulder is going to be in the way a little bit. That's really not too much avoidable. Um, what you're going to have. Is, bless you. <laughs> you're going to have. You're going to have your patient kind of try to depress their shoulders as much as you can. Now, it's going to be really difficult for the patient to do this if they're in a C collar or they have cervical pain. Uh, so you're just going to do. Sorry, you're just going to do the best that you can. Now we're going to. Move the tube so that we're coming in at a 90 degree angle to the IR. And you're going to try to get 72 inches. You're going to do the best that you can. Some rooms might not allow for it. Um, this one actually lets you get all the way to 74, which is pretty good. Okay. I'm going to move this just so we can make sure that you see the centering point here. Alright, so this one's going to be centered right at C4 just like the other ones. You're going to collimate in so where you just see a little bit of light right above the Adam's apple. And your light should be a couple inches down below the shoulder and right at the top of the ear. Okay, so since my patient's left side is up against the IR, that's the side that I'm going to mark. expose us at 85 kbp. Okay, now that's the cross table C-spine. Um, again, I can't iterate, reiterate enough, but if a patient has a C-collar on, please do not remove it. Just get the best image that you can uh, without moving the patient. And that is the instructional video for the C-spine oblikes and cross table.